Milo Austin is Moorhead State's uh, slot receiver, and tight ends coach, and also our director of operations. And coach, uh, fall camp in itself is over, but now you're getting closer to the first game and you're into practices in the afternoon. First off, uh, position-wise, are your receivers, your slots, and tight ends, how did fall camp go? Uh, you know, Shay, we got an experienced group of guys, um, a lot of key returners back. Um, guys that uh, had great production last year and uh, played a lot. Uh, so, you know, those guys just continue to take the next step forward um, and, and looking for big things out of those guys. We, you know, we stayed healthy. Um, so I'm excited to see what we, what we do uh, game one. How important are the uh, slots and the tight ends to this offense? I know that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of passing in this offense, but also as you're going to try to run more this year, they've got to be an important part of the blocking scheme also. Most definitely. Well, first, I'll start with the tight ends. Um, those guys uh, wear many hats. Uh, like you said, uh, in the blocking game, they're very vital to what we do. Uh, also, in the passing game, uh, you know, we're going to lean on them a lot, um, you know, in, in both aspects, in both areas, uh, because we feel like that we can create matchups uh, with those big bodies, and, and, and those guys are agile, and they catch the ball well. Uh, so, you know, those guys bring a lot to the table. Um, inside uh, inside receivers, um, you know, those guys are quick guys. I mean, they're dependable. Um, you know, we've had a lot of production out of that um, position in the past, and we just expect that to continue, um, especially with the guys in the room. Uh, very mature, uh, and, and they, they understand uh, what, what is in front of them. What do you think is the uh, biggest strength uh, of your position group? And then one thing that maybe you see uh, that you need to continue to work on as you progress this year. Um, I'll say the biggest strength um, really isn't um, on the football field. I think it's the ability for the guys to hold each other accountable. Um, become, you know, they're good stewards to one another, so you know they coach each other up, they support one another, um, and, and they pick each other up when they're down. So I think you know just this, the overall camaraderie in the room uh, is something special, and that's you know you, you can't create that um, by any drill that you do on the football field. And I think that's going to take us a long way. Um, we just want to continue to be more consistent. Um, on the football field uh, and everything that we do, um, you know, catching the ball, being, you know, being uh, where we're supposed to be when we're supposed to be there uh, or at all times and, and make sure that the quarterback uh, is confident in delivering the ball to us whenever he needs to. Specifically position-wise, uh, the tight ends have come a long way here at Morris State. And like you mentioned, they've played a much greater role. But how exciting is it for you to have especially two tight ends, Joe B. Embry and Jake Sutherland, who by far could be some of the best that ever actually played here at Morehead State. And then um, on, on the slot receivers and um, uh, just some of the, the importance and some of the guys that could set records and things here uh, at Morehead State. Well, those two tight ends, I mean, those guys are, are interchangeable. I mean, they're both phenomenal uh, in both aspects of the game, whether it be blocking or catching the ball. Um, they've grown tremendously with the